Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. Good work. Those new suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Power assist movement activated. Nice job. Please 
start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic! Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. You can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
the target range. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Proximity to radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with aluminum fiber. Please advance to the next area. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Sure, I'll follow you. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Sure, I'll follow you. I refuse to go another step. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system.